Assalamu alaikum once again. Uh, we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the lecture given to us by Mala as requested Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to open his chest. And at the same time, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us the chance of implementing what we've heard from him. I think I will not make much comment because of the time factor. And uh, I will suspend the questions and the comment on the first lecture till after the second lecture. The second lecture, as I've said, is a glass, MSS as, uh, as a glass, which will be delivered, inshallah, by Mala Ahmad in Degi. Mala Ahmad is the former Amir of the Muslim Student Society of Nigeria, Zampara State. MSS at glance. So, Mala Ahmad, you also have a, I'm sorry, because I add five minutes to Mala. In fact, it's not my intention to stop him, but I add, him, I add five minutes to him. And I'm not using that five minutes against you. So, please, you have 20 minutes, inshallah. Bismillah, walhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala nabil kareem, amma ba'ad, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalamu wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I think I highly appreciate the effort of the organizers for organizing this uh, program and for me to talk on a topic, MSS at Glance. Before now, I have to, I'm a little bit scared because Mr. Chairman, who is my mentor, and leader told me that I'm to discuss what my sheikh talked on. But I believe I must borrow from the Salaf. Who is Ahmad? If Sheikh Usman is talking for Ahmad to comment. So thank you very much, the organizers, for raising that burden on me. Quickly, if I'm going to talk on this topic, MSS at Glance. I believe we all know what MSSN signifies. And that is Muslim students with a prostrophe, a prostrophe, after the S, not before the S. I believe MSS got it right here. And even the logo. So thank you very much for this uh, job well done. So as I said, Muslim Student Society of Nigeria, that is the name. And uh, this organization came into being, or was founded, established in 1954, precisely 18th April 1954. To mathematicians, we have 71 years now, isn't it? Yes. To mathematicians. But to people like me, we have 70 years. Isn't it? Approximation, co? Yeah. For the scientists. 
this society came into being to liberate, to salvage, and even to rescue the Muslim students, the Muslim students then. And not only Muslim students, but the Ummah in general. It was just young men of secondary school who decided to form this blessed organization. And that is why, from my write-up, I said it was a crusade against the missionaries. So MSS was formed to fight back the Christian missionaries then. By saying 1954, you know it was during the anti-colonial, isn't it? And during the independence struggle, so MSS was older than Nigeria as a nation. Is that? Yes, sir. So these young men and women that MSS tag as brothers and sisters gathered in a school called Ansaruddin Nursery Primary School, or Primary School Alakoro, that is Lagos. These brothers and sisters, then let me remind you of something. Most schools then were owned by the missionaries. I think we all know that. Yes. Then, most schools are owned by who? Missionaries. But this Ansaruddin Primary School was owned by who? By Muslims. Why? The reason is, The missionary schools, we are admitting the Muslim brothers and sisters, but converting them to what? To Christianity. So to the extent the Muslims are losing their identity, if the student is not ready to abide by the rules or the doings of the missionaries is either to leave the school or refuse that student from getting admission to a higher school. Are we okay? So it led some of the brothers to completely even change their names from Ahmad to maybe Adewale, Ade Kaza, Olu Kaza. Are we getting it? Yes. So as to suit what the missionaries or to disguise from the victimization of the missionaries. So these few brothers decided that no, the victimization is too much. So there is a need for what? Resistance. There is a need for what? Resistance. And that is what led to the formation of this organization by few brothers and sisters, as I said. The brain, the brain behind the creation or the establishment of MSS is who? I'm asking you a question, please. Who do we think is the brain behind the establishment of Muslim Student Society of Nigeria? Is it Dr. Abdulatif Adebite? Now? Yes. Shineko? Mm. It's not. Dr. Adebite 
was made the first president of Muslim Student Society of Nigeria. But the brain who thought it is high time we form an organization is a brother called what? Who knows the name? Brother Aruma Shodu. Is it Aruma Shodu? Did I pronounce it right? Tajuddin Aruma Shodu. This young brother from just Methodist, uh, what do you call it? Methodist school, a boy, Methodist high, high school, Lagos, which shows it's a Christian school. So he was the person that thought of the way things are going, it is better we come together, form a union, a platform that we what? That we fight back the missionaries and get the Muslims out of that bondage. So this brother with other brothers agreed to form this organization and later after a month, the organization was launched. And the person that hosted this organization then was the Oba of Lagos himself. Adeni Adele. Why I'm mentioning this person, the Oba, is just to tell you the support and the extent these secondary students went to in trying to put a good foundation for this organization. And then, those they made as their patrons then was people of caliber, people like Sardona of Sokoto, people like al Haji Inu Awada, People like the Smiths, Al Haji, something Smith, uh, A R A, Smith of Lagos. This is few of those, these small boys put as what? Their patrons. Why? Because without having elders and those that are strong, what will happen? The missionaries then will crush you. I don't know if you are getting it. Within two years of this establishment and nomination of the ESCO and the patrons, MSS cross across or cut across the south to the north. So there was no school in Nigeria then, or the then before Nigerian, zonal and what you call it, northern and southern that MSS has not penetrated within two years. Within two years. And what assisted this was the effort of the Ansaruddin. If MSS is to be mentioned and Ansaruddin is not mentioned, then justice is not done. Because Ansaruddin was also established to assist the Muslim student then in 1923. Are you getting it? Because the then educated Muslim, committed Muslim brothers observed there is a danger ahead. And to them, the only way to salvage the issue is to establish their own schools. So five missionaries came to establish what? Schools and what? Schools and what? Schools and what? And hospitals. Yes, churches is for their own worship, but they were doing this for humanitarian services. So they will establish school, and they will establish what? Hospital. So either you like it or not, if you don't go to school, you must go to where? Hospital, because then the hospitals are not available. This is the strategy they used. Are we getting it? And let me tell you, I was telling the principals day before yesterday. Do you know the reason behind a morning assembly? You know the morning assembly, secondary schools do have primary. Do you know the reason? The missionaries did it intentionally 
just for the money devotion only. You know money devotion? Yes. And some of us could remember still. During the morning assembly, everybody must to close his eyes. Hallelujah, and teach, and teach, and... Do you know it? These are some of the things. So, Ansarul then established their own schools to what? To counter the missionaries. So, these Ansarul Din members now supported what? The Muslim Student Society of Nigeria because they are intellectuals then. So when the Muslim student also was established, the Ansaruddin supported. And that was why the parents then also launched a campaign called Join the MSS. It was the effort of who? The parents, which the Ansaruddin members are also part and they assisted in what? In broadcasting, in campaigning. So within two years of establishment, I said what? The MSS was all around Nigeria. And to tell you, within four years, do you know that MSS has the recognition of the federal government then? Within four years. Within four years. And that is what led the then Obafemi Awolo to invite the Muslim student delegates to receive the representatives of Saudi and Pakistan and many countries. Why? Because the MSS stand firm to what? To liberate Muslims. Quickly, this is brief on MSS, but MSS stands as an organization that the motto reads Kalimatu Shahada. So anything that goes contrary to that La ilaha illallah and Muhammad Rasulullah MSS completely. And that is why they say the basis of this organization is Sharia. That is the principles and rules of what? Of Sharia. So anything contrary to the Sunnah and Quran is not part of what? MSS. It's not. And again, we should know, things we are invented or things we are created into MSS because of the situations then, If it's before now, when I was in secondary school, this occasion will not commence, but we must sing songs. Islamic songs, as we call them then. I don't know if we still remember. Why don't you do it now? Why? Because MSS believe that the basis of MSS should be what? Quran and Sunnah. So as we are moving, there is other things that even now, maybe we did, but later maybe we are stepping from it. Maybe some people may know where I'm heading to. So MSS was established, purposely I'm repeating, to liberate the Muslim and the Ummah in general. Let me quickly look at what are the aims and objectives. The first aim is to bring the Muslim brothers, that is the Muslim Ummah, into a closer union of brotherhood, of true brotherhood, and to have faith in the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So if you look at MSS generally, I read from a literature, someone was quoting. He was saying, Nigerian itself, as a country, borrowed ideas from MSS. 
because Nigerian was an organization, national organization before Nigeria. MSS was national organization. And then it was the only, I repeat, go on research. MSS was the only association that is national then before independence. Check on record or history. And MSS was the only with the national leadership then It was only MSS. And let me even take it this. The leadership of MSS is always shifted from the north to the south. Why? Why? Brothers and sisters, why? Because of the union, the unity. MSS always what? Promotes. And that is why when the politicians are saying, ah, ah North neither we, South neither we, MSS say, ah, don't disturb yourself. MSS has done it better. Take a leave from MSS. Quickly, let us look at the activities. I believe I cannot go to the aims and objective all. <laughs> yes, because I have something I want us to take from the activities. MSS, I'm coming to the level of high institution, not the outside units or branches or whatsoever. But mind you, MSS has five hierarchical what? Structures of administration. From the national, which our headquarters is at Abuja, Guarimpa. Then we have the zone. A zone and B zone. The A zone comprises 19 northern states, 19 northern states, and Abuja. Well, the southern part, that is the B zone, consists of what? 17 states for ad administrative easiness. Then these zones are overseeing these 19 states, and we call these 19 states area units. And that is how we have Zamfara area unit, Kano area unit, and later we have central branches. Central branches are local government branches. Our, 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 sorry, our area councils, sorry, area councils. Then we have branches like in the institutions and whatsoever. Quickly, two minutes left. Part of the activities of MSS, particularly, when you look at the aims and objective, MSS emphasizes on the unity of the Muslim Ummah, just as I said earlier, which I believe every MSS that is what they are doing. Secondly, anything that affects any Muslim brother or sister, MSS is at the forefront to see what? To salvage that issue or to assist that brother if oppressed. Another important activity that I think MSS is doing, and they are not doing, is better they should do. Is this, I don't know what you may call it, at times we call it, Jambito, you are welcome. Before now, when admission process is on, the K guides, you know, uh, is it K guides? Yes. We know them? Do we have them? Yes. Alhamdulillah yes. for MSS. MSS has eradicated some of these verses. K guys are those guys that drink palm wine and misbehave in the campus. They will be going about to make sure the new admitted students are also admitted to what? To evil clubs and societies. So I believe even our MSS, if we are not doing it's better we do, because just like the white man said, catch them what? Yeah. And you can only do this by assisting the new intake, the admitted student. Assist them in admission, assist them, this is where to go, and this is, give some of them the accommodation needed, particularly the executives. Part of the activities, I don't know, we have then, and most of these schools are having what we call learn Quran in 10 days. I don't know if we have it here. 
it is better we create such programs because MSS believes that some of the students are coming into the university without knowing Alif, Ba, and Ta. So the only thing was to assist people. And truly, while well, some people were able to read Quran in good terms, and even the other tari marks, our Amir, I do say it, that is the Dean Student Affairs, memorize the glorious Quran in the campus. So MSS, we must wake up to make sure that these things are provided. Another, why I'm saying this, I'm saying it directly to the ESCOs now. There is another program MSS do for wealthyism. At times, some people call it Ansar. That is Ansar Committee. Some people call it Welfare Committee. Some people call it whatsoever name. This package is very, very important. If we don't have it, let us create it. At times, a wealthy student can be what? A needy at a given time. So MSS do assist by what? Giving tippens, giving loan, giving full stuff, giving anything at the later part. But these things are gathered, are collected by individuals. Alhamdulillah wa subhanakallahu ma shara la ilaha 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 Wa alaykum as-salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.